Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a universal book link on Story Origin. As you can see, we're already on this Universal Book Links tab on our author dashboard. We can go ahead and hit the Create Universal Book Link button. For this example, we're going to be using Dracula by Bram Stoker. I'll go ahead and upload the book cover, which I already have right here. Allow us to resize it. I'll go ahead and just hit Save. I'll go ahead and add a Vampire's Tag and a fantasy tag. And then uh, I will go ahead and paste in an Amazon link, a Apple link, the Google Play link, and the Barnes and Noble link. Now we can go ahead and hit, uh, and I would not like, I don't want to add my affiliate tags for the, to this for now. I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And that's it. We've got our universal book link. So we can copy this to our clipboard, open it up in a new tab. Okay, and you can see there that the reader can uh, go to this link and select from any of the retailers that they want to visit uh, and so let's say we want to use Amazon. The first thing that will be asked is if we want to set Amazon as a preferred store if we've never used the Universal Book Link system before. I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit yes. And that's important to keep in mind. You'll see that this takes us to the Amazon page for Dracula. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy this Universal Book Link to our dash, our, uh, clipboard again. I'm going to paste it in. And this time what you'll see is that we'll be redirected straight to Amazon because we have set Amazon as our preferred store. You can see that that worked, right? So we had our story origin link, we pasted it in, and we go straight to Amazon because we set them as our preferred store. Now if you ever want to change your preferred store, you can simply go to this preferred store button, you can see your current store, I'm going to go ahead and hit no store and now we've got no preferred store again. I'm going to go ahead and paste that link one more time and you'll see this time we're just taken to the Universal Book Link page again because again now we do not have a preferred store so it won't just redirect me uh, and we can choose one of the other providers. And the important thing to note about this is that Universal Book Links can be super helpful even if you're only uh, even if you only have an Amazon link because Amazon has multiple uh, storefronts for various co countries uh, you, your readers can sometimes end up in the wrong store for for their country so let's go through an example real quick uh, Canada's Amazon storefront ends in Amazon.ca uh, the UK would be Amazon.co.uk, uh, and Australia would be .com.au, etc. There, there are a number of different storefronts that Amazon has for different countries. And so, if you simply send just the Amazon.com uh, link to your mailing list, there's a good chance that you'll have some readers outside of the United States, and that those readers will be directed to the US storefront will not be correct for them. But when they click on an Amazon link here on Story Origin, it will automatically resolve to the correct storefront for their country. So when we did that before, it took us to Amazon.com because I'm based in the US. But if you were in Canada or Australia or Britain uh, or other countries, uh, you would be taken to the correct uh, domain for uh, your country. So yeah, Universal Book Links can be super valuable even if you only use them uh, for an Amazon link. And we'll go ahead and hit back here. And uh, this is where we can edit our book. So if, again, we wanted to just hit edit and hit, type blah here. We can hit save. That will update the title of our book. We can go back to our dashboard and we can see that on our Universal Book Links tab we now have our book in its title. So that's it for creating Universal Book Links on Story Origin. 
If you have any questions, feel free to hit the contact link at the bottom of Story Origin and just shoot me an email. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.